March is Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, and we're joined now by Dr. Linda Rosenthal. She's a gastroenterologist with the MedStar Health Cancer Network over at Franklin Square. Doctor, tell us about what types of specialists actually perform these colonoscopies, because people have that fear of going to get the colonoscopy. Right. Well, you just saw that nice film with Dr. Lyle. Dr. Lyle is a colorectal surgeon. He's been trained not only in the surgical procedures, but in how to do colonoscopies. I was trained in internal medicine. Most gastroenterologists do an internal medicine track, followed by several years of specialty in gastroenterology alone. Um, and that also includes training in colonoscopy. So now, does that doctor as well remove the polyps that they find? So when we're one doing time, right, one type visit? when we are doing colonoscopy, the goal is to remove polyps. So it, most of the ninety percent of the time, we are removing polyps when we see them and taking them off. Now. Um, if I find a colon cancer, though, I then I don't. I am an internal medicine person. I send them to Dr. Lyle. He mm -hmm. does the surgery on that uh, at that point. So, if you have polyps, does that necessarily mean that you have colon cancer? No, it doesn't. In fact, the whole idea of colonoscopy is to screen for precancerous lesions of mm -hmm. the colon. That is, a polyp that stays in someone's colon for years and years can develop into a colon cancer. The goal is to remove those polyps, bring people in re repeatedly to keep the polyp free, and we will hopefully prevent colon cancer in that patient. So how often should you get a colonoscopy? And we're, you know, we're obviously MedStar Franklin Square Hospital might be a good right, place to go right. get one. So um, one of the issues is at what age do we start screening? And mm -hmm. now the, um, it is, the age has fallen to 45, 45 because there are a lot of people who are coming in with already advanced disease before the age of 50. Um, so if there's no family history and you're a standard risk patient, you would start at 45, and then pro if no polyps are found, every 10 years after that. If there's a family history of polyps or colon cancer, depending uh, on what the nature of the family history is, you will probably come in every five years, maybe sooner. Okay, Dr. Rosenthal, thank you very much. One of our many experts who's in the next studio waiting to take your call. The number to call is 410-671-0702. And again, everyone who calls in, you get the free blue tote that has all the important information for you. Great. Thanks a lot, Dr. My Rosenthal. pleasure. Thank Let's you. Let's send it over to Patrick. And now from WMAR-2.